Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathleen and I post a vegan fashion, lifestyle and beauty videos. And today, Saturday, is the second day of the much anticipated Sephora Spring Sale. And if you are a VIP Rouge, then you know that we are kind of entitled to shop early than the rest of the gang. But really, if you ask me, there's no distinct advantage. I have been a rouge for quite a while now and I have a feeling that I might even lose that status this year just because of the lack of assortments in the vegan category, Sephora. I know there are some decent brands that are worth trying, but if you take a look at the overall offerings, there's not much. It's very, very limited. But anyways, I still took this chance to shop early. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. I'm so excited to share with you my little haul as well as recommendations. Suffice to say that they are really worth the purchase. Okay, so let's start with my haul first. Yeah? As of this moment, I have over a thousand points that I'm still collecting just because even in their point system, there are no products that are vegan and cruelty free sad right so therefore i will just continue accumulating those points until i am satisfied with their freebies let's start with my drunk elephant assortment so i read this many times already on the blog it was also part of my top 2017 products beauty products and i showing it the way so this is from drunk elephant tlc sokari baby facial it has 25 percent ha 2 percent bha ha is alpha hydroxy acid it's good to help brighten the skin bha beta hydroxy acid it's good to keep the oil at bay so if you're acne prone you have sensitive skin you have minor spots then this can help i use this once or twice a week i know that i can get facials at the clinic anytime that i want to but realistically i can, i couldn't do it so this is my in-between maintenance diy masking at home this sinks a little but that's when you know that there's enough strength for it to work uh just what i do is just i put my face in front of the fan just to kind of like cool off this is one of those products when after i wash it off i see an immediate kind of like soothing brightening and smoothing effect on my skin right now i have few breakouts just because i had chemical peels and it's still purging all those gunk <laughs> all those trapped uh, whiteheads and blackheads underneath my skin but this is one of my secrets in preventing pih post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation glycolic lactic azelaic acid and even vitamin c they can help especially if you are working on pre-melanin synthesis even before that a uh, spot becomes dark then yes it can help that but if you're dealing with really dark spots unfortunately all these over-the-counter products either they may take longer to work or you really do need to see a dermatologist or have a laser procedure to help remove those dark or brown spots another item that i've purchased and that i've been meaning to try from drunk elephant is the tlc from Boost glycolic night serum Again, it has HA and DHA, and hopefully I like this. <laughs> Packaging matches my lipstick today, which is, by the way, Kat Von D. Studded Kiss Lipstick. And then another product from Drunk Elephant is the Vitamin C Serum. Again, like I said, this is a good uh, way to help brighten your complexion. 15% L-ascorbic acid and this is their C Firma Day Serum and uh, I read great reviews about this and hopefully I will like this too. I'm all about good skincare just because you may have the best makeups in town but if your skin is not in their best condition you just it's just gonna look awful so that's why invest in skincare invest in your face and then all the rest you can wear the cheapest makeup around and still look like a million dollar boss babe darling that's that. and also i'm getting tired of just using the 
uh, eyeshadow for my eyebrows not that it's bad but i just want to revisit this brand again hourglass i used to enjoy this um eyebrow brow sculpting pencil when it first came out i picked the shade warm brunette just to match my newly colored hair and did you notice i had it i, I had a haircut too so i swatched it in store and this is the closest match to my hair color so it's slanted and it's very easy to use so excited to try that again and what else is in here Uh, okay, so this one is an impulse purchase cooler. I have several uh, tinted sunscreen, BB and CC cream, but I haven't tried this cooler. So that's why I said, you know what, let's just put it in my bag. And I chose the shade light medium organic BB cream, vegan cruelty free. And I've, again, you know, it has SPF 30. Active ingredients is 5.6 titanium dioxide. I will let you know my thoughts about this, but really uh, I'm excited to try this cooler. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. This one is another impulse purchase. I think it's a nice uh, nail polish from Deborah Lipman. And this is kind of a uh, holographic. The healthy alternative to gel polish and the shade that I chose is I put a I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. There you go. Focus. Yep. So that's my tiny haul. Now I will go to my recommendations and these are the products that I have been wearing, using and raving for quite some time already so if you happen to spot them either from your store local sephora store or online please do buy them now let's start with deodorant right just because we don't like stinky pits so this is my favorite la vanilla i have the sports version this is the original one they have a bigger size but just because you see i've been using this for quite some time now and i still have this much left and this is only like $14. Will this stop the sweating? No, but it will make your sweat smell nice. Well, that is if you're not, if you don't have a medical condition that will affect the performance of this deodorant. So in the context of foundation, I love this Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. Springtime calls for lightweight coverage. I am in the shade Light Medium and this one has sunscreen, SPF 20. I like this, especially in days rain. I just don't want to feel like wearing tons of makeup. Now, this is a full coverage foundation and this is Kat Von D. I kind of reserve this in days that I'll be wearing makeup longer and I would want my makeup to look as flawless as possible because this has phenomenal longevity. This has a tendency to dry out so it is a must that you moisturize your face very well before applying this foundation. Now my favorite way of blending foundation is this brush from Bessemer Cosmetics. Every time there is a Sephora sale, I tend to always buy a backup. I didn't do it this time just because I just got it last uh, November. Yeah, November sale. So, so everything, I have another one. Both are still in good condition. So, you know, I mean, just being practical, I don't need a replacement yet. Mascara still tart if you're looking for volume and length. I can't rave this enough. The only downside is that if you have oily skin or combination skin or if you live in the tropics, just like here in Hawaii, it has a tendency to smudge at the end of the day. Not raccoon level, but enough to just say, uh, I am not wearing it today, but I'm endorsing it, right? Oh, so ironic. Eye primer, Ilia. It has a herbal-ish scent, but other than that, it really is a nice eye primer. Next is lipstick, of course. How could I forget lipstick? And this is from the Kat Von D Static Kiss Lipstick. I own 12 of this. 
more than 12 12 from the newly reformulated and more than 10 from the original that's how much i love the started kiss lipstick the shade that i'm wearing right now is backstage bambi which is a very nice hot pink shade again moisturize exfoliate your lips these aren't drying but if you have dry cracked lips then of course you know anything that's kind of like matte finish will just emphasize those but other than that i love this formula and in fact this is creamier if you own the original started kiss lipstick okay um what's next finally we go to our glass i know that i have shown this to you many times already but you know it is for a reason really this is the best highlighting palette that i own and this is from hourglass this used to be a limited edition but i still find it from the sephora website i think i've spotted this today too at my local sephora so if you see this grab it it's really worth the purchase so that's about it then. I hope you enjoyed our short video for today. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you do. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Meanwhile, have a wonderful and fabulous day everyone. Mahalo!